Today, I'm going to be very specific with my presentation. Are you a parent with a child in primary school who is currently going through the CBC curriculum, that is competence-based curriculum? Are you a head teacher of a primary school who is handling a CBC curriculum? Then you are my target today. First, there are two things that I want to tell you about the current situation. Number one, there's an animal called CBA, that is competency-based assessment. And number two, NEMIS, that is National Education Management Information System. Now, the latter came in first, that is NEMIS. Then the government or the Ministry of Education came with the National Education Information Management System to capture all details of learners in primary schools and even those in secondary schools. And when pupils were registered in this NEMIS portal, they were issued with a number which many people refer to as NEMIS number, although it is called UPI, which is Unique Personal Identifier. Now, in came CBA, that is Competency-Based Assessment. The learners were registered at grade three when they were first assessed. This is a portal that is managed by the Kenya National Examination and it is not in any case related to NEMIS. So these are two entities. When learners were registered in the CBA portal, they were issued with assessment number. You know that number that begins with A00, something like that. That is what we call assessment number. Now, this is the reason why I'm making this presentation. Recently, we saw NEC issue head teachers with a nominal role for grade six. And the teachers were supposed to clean up that nominal role by doing the following. Number one, in consultation with the parents to verify the names of the pupils, that these names are well captured, correctly captured. The order of these names are well captured. The spelling of these names are well captured. The year of birth of the child is well captured. And even the arrangements. After this was done, and of course, myself being one of the head teachers, I saw a lot of disparities in these details and there's something that you need to know once that is done remember NEMIS is equally very important but one question that you as a parent and you as the teacher need to ask yourselves is are the details of the child as captured in the CBA the same as the details as captured in NEMIS. Dear parents, if you have not asked yourself that question, then kindly follow up with your head teachers and ask that question, whether the details of your child as captured by NEC in the CBA are the same details as captured in the NEMIS. Because they must marry. The name of the child must be the same. The year of birth, gender of the child, the arrangement of names, very important. These are some of the things that each and every school should advise parents on. But I can assure you that many institutions have not been able to marry the two information as is expected. We should not have a case where a child's details in the NEC portal under CBA are different from the details that are in the NEMIS. You saw when form ones were reporting to school, some parents 
who were changing schools because of one reason or the other, they were being asked to provide the name is number. What if the name is number is provided and you realize that the name is number is reflecting a different person? It may not be the important uh, information that the ministry expects. But that's exactly what you need to know as a parent if you want your child's details to be captured correctly. Number two piece of advice, ensure that your child's details since the child started doing the CBC curriculum, and particularly the assessments are captured in the child's portal because they are going to accrue and they are going to add up to the all marks and is going to be used as part of the child's assessment. Follow up to ensure that every assessment is captured in the portal for your child. Don't be caught unawares. Don't wait until it is too little, too late. Lack of information can cost you. But you now know, head teachers, parents, take note, particularly the teachers, ensure that you advise your parents accordingly. Thank you for watching this presentation. Be part of my YouTube channel. Subscribe and like and share to reach out to many parents who are having children in the CBC system. Until I have my next presentation, thank you for watching. Hello, today I'm going to be very specific with my presentation. Are you a parent with a child in primary school who is currently going through the CBC curriculum, that is competence-based curriculum? Are you a head teacher of a primary school who is handling a CBC curriculum? Then you are my target today. First, there are two things that I want to tell you about the current situation. Number one, there's an animal called CBA, that is competency-based assessment. And number two, NEMIS, that is National Education Management Information System. Now, the latter... Hello. Today I'm going to be very specific with my presentation. Are you a parent with a child in primary school who is currently going through the CBC curriculum, that is competence-based curriculum? Are you a head teacher of a primary school who is handling a CBC curriculum? Then you are my target today. First, there are two things that I want to tell you about the current situation. Number one, there's an animal called CBA, that is competency-based assessment. And number two, NEMIS, that is National Education Management Information System. Now, the